Hey everyone, John P.O. here from Mamecade.com. What I'd like to show you today goes back to 1983, back when Nintendo was licensing the beloved Popeye figure from King Features and putting him in some games that they were working on, namely the stand-up arcade machine, a game watch, and this, a tabletop version of the Popeye game. And as you can see, it's quite large and runs on two C batteries. And it's an LCD game. Let's take a look at it and see how the game works and plays. The game has two modes, a game A and a game B. We're playing game B right now, as you can see by the upper hand left corner. Um, the main difference between A and B is Brutus is much more aggressive, and there's a swordfish that swims under the pier. Occasionally, that swordfish will creep up on you, and if you happen to be in the wrong spot, he'll stick his sword through, whoa, and knock you back one space. Now, the whole point is to knock Brutus on the left-hand side of the screen into the water, as he's trying to knock you into the right-hand right side. Now, every time he goes into the drink, a can of spinach gets closer and closer to Olive Oil, who is tied up and trapped up on top on the ship. Now, you could avoid Brutus's punches if you're timely with the joystick and pull back. Uh, if you get to the very last point, you can kind of move your head as a bob and weave. Uh, if you get struck on the right-hand side at the very last position, you will get knocked into the water, losing a life. And you've got three lives. Ooh. I wanted to start off with game B only because I wanted to show you the swordfish on the bottom there. Because you don't see that in game A. And this is a LCD game, which means you needed a light source overhead to shine into the top of the machine that would illuminate the back of the, uh, of the LCD. There is a color screen on the front so that each picture is colored. And uh, if you're in a dark room, you could not play this game. You need a light source overhead. Let's take a look at uh, game A. Now throughout this video, I've been calling Popeye's enemy there, Brutus. And there is some confusion because originally, Brutus was Bluto. And how the story goes is King Features mixed up the copyright information that they had. They thought they had lost the copyright to the name Bluto and Paramount Pictures owned it. And they changed the name to Brutus. Did some alterations to the character, made him a lot fatter, a lot sloppier and went with that. Turns out, they never lost the copyright and owned it the whole time. So eventually, years later, they returned the name Bluto, but there was a long history of it being Brutus. Uh, in fact, there is a couple of storylines where it turns out that Bluto has a twin brother named Brutus. And uh, there's another storyline that Bluto discovers that there are a bunch of other bad guys uh, who've been using the name Brutus uh, going after Popeye. But generally speaking, if it's between late 50s and 60s, um, that would be the Brutus years. Um, and you could tell generally he was a, a more of a slobby kind of guy. Uh, but it's, it's Bluto back now in, officially. Um, but I call him Brutus. Now as you can see now, uh, the can of spinach is very close to olive oil's big fat feet. And if you time it just right, she'll kick the can down below to Popeye. If you're in the wrong position and you're not there to receive the can, the can falls into the water and you have to start the whole process over again, which is very annoying. But that's the way the game goes. Now here comes the can. I ha you have to stay in the right position, otherwise you lose it. There you go. And that is the way you save olive oil. Well known fact that Bluto Brutus has a glass jaw. 